مرحبا اهلا وسهلا بكم ماي نيم از دكتور عمران علاوي ويلكم تو ماي شانل توداي از ذا فيرست سيشن اوف ليتس سبيك عربيك سيريز يونيت 3 ذيس يونيت ويل ديل ويز اول اسينشال فوكابولاري فريزيز دايلوج ريليتين تو holidays and travel. The theme will be explored over several lessons and that will include preparation for travel, a buying ticket, um, at the airport, hotel, um, sightseeing and all relevant uh, adjectives as well. Remember this is modern standard Arabic and this is the Arabic you need to be understood across the Arab world. Let's start by asking a question. What is the word for travel in Arabic? The word for travel in Arabic is safar. Safar. Sin, fa, and ra. And the reason I'm calling out those three letters is this. It's because Arabic words are derived from a root set of consonants that contain the base meaning of the word. It means once you know what we call root letters, and usually three, or we call it sometimes radical letters and in Arabic is called حروف uh, البناء once you identify the root letters that means you can track it because when anytime you see it it will give you a meaning which have some connection connection somehow with the base meaning for instance suffer travel let's look at Musafir. Musafir. You can still identify the scene, which is your first root letter, and the far second root letter, and the raw, which is your third root letter, in that order. Which means Musafir has to have something to do with travel. So, what's the meaning of Musafir. Musafir means a traveler. Safar, travel. Musafir, a traveler. Although you can see that we use vowel, we're changing the vowel and adding other letters, uh, prefix and uh, suffixes to change the meaning. But base, the base meaning is still there. Musafir. Another one. Misfar. Misfar. Again, you can identify the same far and ra in that order. Uh, misfar is somebody or someone who travels a lot. Never stands still. Always on the move. You call it misfar. You say, anta misfar. You will travel a lot. Anti misfar. You lady, you travel a lot. So we have suffer, travel, as a noun. Musafir, a traveler, a male, or musafira, a traveler, a female. Misfar, you can use it for male and female as somebody travel a lot. Misfar. Another word from the original root is Sefir. Sefir for male, Sefira for a woman is an ambassador. Sefir, an ambassador. Sefira, a woman ambassador. Again, you will see that idea of travel is there because ambassador travel will be sent from his or her country to 
abroad to represent them. So Sefir, Sefira, an ambassador. One more, let's try one more. Safara, Safara is an embassy. Again, you have seen Far and Ra included as a, as a root letter. So Safara is an embassy. In all this, you can see the scene and Far and Ra. That is very fascinating and that's very helpful for uh, a learner to track the meaning and to, uh, uh, you can guess once you know, seen Far and Ra, hmm, something to do with travel might be lurking there. Now, also, to be able to learn your vocabulary quicker, again, you, you have this associate, the, the, base, the basic letters are there for you, to, to help you out. So, let's now learn these words together now. So, uh, travel in Arabic is safar, safar, traveler is Musafir for a man, Musafira for a woman. Somebody who travels a lot is called in Arabic Misfar. Misfar. An ambassador, a woman ambassador is Sefira. Sefira and the man ambassador is Sefir Sefir and an, the embassy is Safara Safaratun or Safara you can say Sifara as well both are correct you can say Sifara or Safara embassy so Let's learn this. Come on. Safar, Musafir, Misfar, Safir, Safara. Let's test you now. I say English, you say Arabic for me, please. Come on. Uh, travel, travel, Safar. Well done. Uh, a traveler. Musafir. Musafir. What do we call somebody who travels a lot in Arabic? Misfar. Misfar. Ambassador. An ambassador. Sefir. Or Sefira. A woman. Embassy. Embassy is... Safara. Safara. Well done. Ahsant. That means well done. Just a moment as we are learning Arabic together to mention that I am fundraising for my charity Helping Hands for Education to build a library and an educational resource center for the children of my hometown. Ubumasho, southwestern Nigeria. So please consider making a donation, a large or small, to help these worthy cause. Whatever you can manage to donate will be warmly welcomed and appreciated. The links for donations are below. Thank you so much. What shall I say? Shukran. Now, let's take this step further. Let's introduce some useful adjectives to describe travel in Arabic. Remember, in Arabic, when you want to describe something, adjective, you need to mention that noun first. Then you describe it, unlike English. In English, you will say enjoyable travel. But in Arabic, you start with travel first and then you describe it as being enjoyable. 
because Arabic is coming from right to left. Okay, let's say uh, Safar Mumtia. Mumtia means enjoyable. Safar, travel, and then Mumtia, enjoyable travel. Safar Mumtia. Next, let's say comfortable. Safar Murih. Murih is comfortable. Safar Murih. Safar Murih. If you want to say uncomfortable, that is not comfortable, you insert غير, which means not, before مريح. So you say سفر غير مريح. سفر غير مريح. Uncomfortable travel. The same thing for journey. So you can use suffer as journey. Uncomfortable journey. Suffer. Mumtia. Enjoyable travel or journey. Suffer. Murih. Comfortable travel or journey. Suffer. Rayru Murih. Uncomfortable journey or travel. Two more. We can say Safar Tawil. Safar Tawil. Tawil means long. The long travel. Safar Tawil. Opposite. Safar Qasir. Short journey. Safar Qasir. We can say expensive travel. Expensive. Ghalin. Safar. Ghalin. Safar. Ghalin. Finally, we can say very cheap travel. Safar. Rakhis. Safar. Rakhis. Now. Let's just... Look at these uh, these uh, adjectives again. We have mumtia, enjoyable, murih, comfortable, gheiru murih, uncomfortable. We have tawil, long, qasir, short, ghalin, expensive. Rakhis, cheap. And of course, you can introduce particle to play around with this. So if, if you know how to say but, and that's it, walakin. Like, however, walakin. So you can say, safar, tawil, long journey, walakin, but, murih, comfortable. So you can say safar, qasir, short journey, walakin, but غير مريح, uncomfortable. You can say safar, mumtia, enjoyable journey, walakin, غالin, but expensive and so on. You can mix things up in that way. So let's do a little bit of revision together here. I say it in English, you tell me in Arabic. Please, you can. Uh, short is short journey. Is 
سفر قصير a long journey سفر طويل an expensive travel سفر غال uh, a comfortable journey سفر مريح and so on well done أحسنت أحسنت means well done remember this is just the beginning you have finished your lesson one please revise this vocabulary for me and we'll meet up again next lesson inshallah مع السلامة إلى اللقاء في أمان الله